Hi, this is Paul Acevedo with Windows Phone Central. We're coming at you from Oakland, California. I'm Steve. I uh, work for Sikkim Studios, and we're here talking about my new game. So this is our new game, Text and Die. Um, just going to go through it real fast and kind of show you. The idea here with this is game is basically that you're this maniac driver here, and you're taking out people that are texting and driving. It's all kinds of fun. <laughs> um, so basically this is our boost page, so as you go through the game you're able to unlock boost as well as gain cash so that you can use the boost. So we'll go through and use this one which actually gives you, well I can't use that one. This one actually gives you uh, more power up so that as you hit people you have a better chance of power ups dropping. It's a good one. Um, we'll Alright, so now that we're going, the idea here is you see these guys that are texting and driving. The ones with the green guys are texting. These are normal drivers. Basically, you want to just avoid the normal drivers and hit these guys. And you get points for hitting them, and they get a chance to spawn the power ups. If you hit these guys, you take damage. Your fuel gauge is your damage. Once you hit four, get hit four times, you die. So we're just going to go along, take out some guys, collect some power ups. So these are caltrops, and caltrops fire off behind you and as well does the oil slicks and these can take out normal drivers as well as texting drivers anybody that's behind you and later you'll find out this comes in handy this is as the cops come out so that was an EMP EMPs are the best power up that's why you get the fewest of them uh, basically what happens is you have a cop level and as you hit things your cop level goes up and the cops will start coming after you because you know you're out being a maniac and the EMP actually allows you to to take things out without increasing your cop level. So like, it just makes it so that you remain easy. This is a power up that if there's cops on the screen, they blow up, which is very handy later on in the level. Uh, this is a shield. So now I can hit, I can, and this is life right here. That one gives you more life. So now I could hit like a normal driver and I wouldn't take damage or a cop. And that shields me for it. From them. The gas meter is your life? The gas meter is your life. Once it gets to empty, you are toast, as you'll see very soon as I'm about to eat it. Uh, so. Oh, there we go. So I died. And this just tells me, like, how I did. And then this tells me the overall of how I've done so far in the game. Um, so the biggest thing to note is, like, that is your texters because once you're hitting texters they actually turn into money so this kind of tells you your total money and how much you earned in the level um, so what you want to do is collect the you know hit these texters to collect the money and then you'll be able to use those to get uh, power-ups um, this also tells me that I completed my goals which I'll show you again in the pause menu and as you complete goals this is what allows you to level up so if we were to drive again, we'd go back to the screen, get some more power-ups because they're glorious. So as we go through the game, we'll see we get these quests, or goals, as you would, and these are going to allow you to level up, unlock more power-ups, and get more achievements, and get rewards for completing them. So this turn, I'd want to go through, and I'd want to use a shield and travel 100 meters. I don't have to do these in one turn, but I do have to complete both of these before I would level up. So if I use the shield uh, now, oh, I don't have any. So this would, this would be where I'd have to go through and basically... Uh, <laughs> Find one. Find a shield, and then after I used it, I could, you know, complete that quest. And then if I died, that quest would be saved. I'd already completed it, and then I would still have to play again until I completed a hundred, a hundred meters. Um, and then I would complete that quest, get a set of two new quests, and I would have leveled up and unlocked it. Uh, possibly unlocked it a, a new be a boost. So what were your influences on this game? So, so I actually came up with this game when I was driving on my motorcycle a lot and uh, people were texting and driving a little too much and trying to kill me. So that made me kind of think of the idea and then the big influence on the style and the feel was like I uh, really wanted to go for the old school spy hunter thing because that kind of theme and that feel of the, the old school arcade version just really, I just really liked it and I thought it would fit well with this, this kind of, you know, Windows phone or this kind of mobile game. 
and uh, the style and the, you know the thematic of taking out texting drivers with power ups and cops and all that good stuff. <laughs> And you're thinking about putting controller support in the Windows 8 version? Yeah, we are definitely now considering that uh, as this is going to be our first real Windows release. We figured we'd, you know, go all out and try some new stuff and, you know, see if the controllers... It would work really good because it's pretty simplistic controls and being able to control it with the four power-ups, you know, four buttons really easy and the left and right. So it would fit the schema rather well, I think. Definitely. And you're bringing this to both Windows 8 and Windows Phone? That is the plan. We're planning on releasing that uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks, really, is like getting it ready to go. Uh, we're, this is the, one of our beta builds right here, and we have a few glitches to fix, and then we'll be doing the final rounds of testing and getting ready to go. And you're going to launch it as a paid game? Yes. We're going to launch it as a paid game, so it'll be $0.99 cents on the phone and $1.49 on the Windows market. Well, cool. We'll look forward to it. Thanks. Awesome.